वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल टूडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ प्रोटीन एंड लिपिड आर एक्सपोर्टेड फ्रॉम द ई आर सो प्रोटीन्स एंड लिपिड ट्रेवल इन लिटल ट्रांसफर बबल्स कॉल दी वेसिकल्स सो द एज ऑफ वेसिक वेसिकल्स आर सेल्युलर ऑर्गेनल्स दैट आर कंपोज ऑफ लिपिड बाय लेयर एज यू नो वेसिकल सेल्युलर एनवेलॉप्स दैट आर यूज टू ट्रांसफर मटीरियल फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर प्लेस एंड प्रोटीन एंड फॉस्फो लिपिड्स Okay, both are traveling along the secretory pathway in transport vesicles. So here you can see in this figure, that is the uh, ER structure. Okay, entire the ER structure, lumen and proteins. Okay, that means the here the ribosome. Okay, rough endoplasmic reticulum. Ribosome synthesizes the polypeptide chain and insert it into the uh, ER lumen. That is the newly synthesized luminal proteins. And this one. This is the resident ER protein that is the BIP and disulfide isomerase. Both are the resident ER proteins. Now the export signals. Okay, here it is transmembrane proteins export signals. So now the uh, luminal proteins which are binds to the export signals. Okay, transmembrane proteins. You can also say transmembrane proteins. Now the what is the ERES? So endoplasmic reticulum exists site. Protein molecules are trans export from the ER in vesicle that bud from special region of the ER called the ER exit site or ERES. Okay. So here it is the ERES this site. Okay. Where the vesicle bud form. In most cases. Okay, proteins within the lumen of one organelles are packed into budding transport vesicle and then released into the lumen of the recipient organelles following vesicle fusion. Now the uh, vesicles that bud from the ER, okay, fuse to form the ER Golgi intermediate compartment. Okay, so here it is the vesicle that bud from the ER fuse to form. Okay, this is the bud vesicle budding. Okay, and then vesicle fusion. Here it is vesicle fusion, and from the ERGIC, okay, its name is the ER Golgi intermediate compartment, from which cargo is transported to Golgi apparatus. Here the cargo, that means the proteins, lumen and proteins, okay, they transported to the Golgi. Next is a Golgi. Okay, membrane protein lipid are transported similarly. Okay, so here it is the uh, similarly proteins and lipids are transported, and it's significant that the topological orientation is maintained as they travel from one membrane enclosed organelles to the another membrane. So, for example, the domain of the protein here it is the this uh, this is the luminal uh, proteins. It is the N terminal. This is cytosolic side, and C terminal it is the uh, luminal sites. Okay, so also this is the transport. Okay. Uh, uh, from the ER to the uh, Golgi, so the uh, cytosolic side of the ER membrane will also expose on the cytosolic side of the Golgi and as well as plasma membrane. Where is protein domain exposed on the luminal side? For example, the C terminal. He, here it is the C terminal. In luminal side of ER proteins, here is the Golgi apparatus uh, compartment ERGIC. Uh, there is also C terminal luminal sites, and also the uh, Golgi apparatus. Okay, there is a C terminal. Okay, uh, domain side is uh, faces out, uh, faces to the uh, Golgi apparatus lumen sites. And the uh, uh, luminal sites, okay, where protein domain exposed on the luminal side of the ER membrane will be exposed on the luminal side of the Golgi and the exterior of the cell. Exterior of the cell that means the plasma membrane also. Okay, so here you see in this figure. Most luminal proteins that export from the ER, okay, luminous proteins is this one, export from the ER and release in the ER Golgi intermediate complex, this one. Okay, so this is the uh, luminal proteins, the newly synthesized proteins. However, not only the luminal proteins, but uh, BIP, residual proteins, that is the BIP and disulfide isomerase. Okay, that means the protein uh, that function within the ER. these proteins are function within the er also transport or export from the uh, er 
in bud, uh, vesicle budding through the uh, ERGIC. Now, the, what happen? What will happen if the number of proteins, okay, for functional proteins are transported uh, or export from the ER to the uh, ERGIC? That's uh, what will happen. The uh, uh, the protein kept going along the usual pathway, they would be lost to the cells. That's why to prevent this protein, mean to stay in, in the ER, are identified in the ER Golgi intermediate complex, okay, and Golgi and sent back to the ER using the retrieval pathway. There is the retrieval pathway. Why we uh, why Golgi apparatus sent back to the ER because the loss of the uh, BIP and disulfur isomerase. So now. For example, uh, many ER proteins, including uh, we have discussed like BIP. BIP or specific uh, sequence KDEL. At the end of that X like the addressing, guiding them back to the ER. Okay, so this is the uh, how uh, proteins, okay, protein functional proteins are uh, retrieval or sent back to the ER due to the loss of the uh, protein within the cell. Therefore, this is the all about today's video. Uh, check the description box for more uh, details or materials. And if you are new here, please subscribe my channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon for new update. Uh, share the, this video if you found it helpful. Thank you for watching.